Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're doing some more AP Physics 1 free response questions, and we're looking at uh, harmonic motion today. Uh, as usual, I suggest you pause the video, attempt to do it, and then come back to it after you've tried the problem. So we have an ideal spring of unstretched length 0.2 meters is placed horizontally on a frictionless table shown above. One end of the spring is fixed, and the other end is attached to a block of mass M, uh, 8 kilograms. The 8 kilogram block is also attached to a massless string which passes over a small frictionless pulley. Block of mass little m hangs from the other end of the string. When the spring and block system is equilibrium, the length of the spring is 0.25 meters and the 4 kilogram block is 0.7 meters off below the 4. On the figures below, draw free body diagrams showing and labeling the forces of each block in the system. Okay, so for the 8 kilogram block, we got T pulling out on the right, uh, force of tension. I'll use FT. Sometimes I use the letter T. Uh, and, and what's holding it back is the spring force, right? Spring force here. And then here I have tension holding it up and gravity pulling it down. Okay? Those are all the forces. Calculate the tension in the string. Well, whenever I do free body diagram, the next step is to do the net force equations. I know that because everything is in equilibrium, the net forces are equal. So I have the spring force should equal, well, I should actually, I says, I have uh, another way is FG has to equal the force of tension. FG is just MG, and that's equal to 4 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. Eight, that's 39.2 newtons. Okay, so that's the tension. Uh, B calculate, uh, no, that was B. Um, B was calculating the tension. So C, let's calculate the force constant on the spring. Well, the tension force has to equal the spring force, so that means K delta X has to equal 39.2 newtons. And that means K has to be 39.2 newtons divided by delta X. Delta X is how much it's stretched. It stretched, uh, 0.2, it stretched 0 0.05 meters, right? Because it went from 0.2 meters to 0.25 meters. So that's like multiplying it by 20, I think. 784 new, um, newtons per meter. Okay. D, the string is now cut at point P. So now we've cut this string. Calculate the time taken by the four kilogram block to hit the floor. Okay, uh, this is, we use a kinematic equation. Delta X is V naught T plus one half AT squared. And I use this equation as opposed to this equation because this doesn't have time in it and I can't solve for time. So here the initial velocity is zero. So it's just, and A is equal to G, gravity, because that's, it's just falling due to gravity. So T is equal to two delta X over G square root. The displacement, delta X is the displacement, that's 0.7 meters divided by 9.8 meters per second squared, okay? So we're gonna do square root of two times 0.7 divided by 9.8, and I get 0.378 seconds. All right, uh, calculate the frequency of oscillation of the eight kilogram block. Um, frequency of oscillation is one over T, and for oscillation on a spring, uh, that's one over two pi root uh, M over K. Or we, otherwise, you can write this as k over m. 1 over 2 pi root. k is uh, 784 newtons per meter. And then uh, mass is 8 kilograms. Um, so that's meters per second squared. Yeah, yeah. Um, good. So then I do 1 divided by 2 divided by pi square root of 784 divided by 8. I got uh, 1.58 hertz, or second, one over seconds. Okay, so that was E. And then F, calculate the maximum speed attained by the 8 kilogram block. Um, the way you do that one is pretty simple. Is Right now it's fully stretched with, um, uh, basically it, it happens when all of the potential energy in the spring turns into um, kinetic energy. 
So v, the 1 halves cancel, is equal to the square root of k delta x squared divided by m. k is um, 784 newtons per meter. Delta x is the, the maximum displacement of the spring. That was 0 0.05 meters. And then the mass of it is 8 kilograms. So I'm going to do square root of 784 times 0 0.05 squared divided by 8. I get 0.495 meters per second. Okay. And that's it. Uh, hope you found it helpful. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.